Hi, my name is Scarlett Lewis and I'm the founder of the Choose Love Movement. We're all born with a little tool belt that's invisible around our waist. We don't even know that we have them, but we start putting in skills and tools that we learn even from infancy. And then when we grow up, we start taking them out. Well, the Choose Love formula is a skill and tool that you're gonna have in your belt forever. You've got courage. Courage is one of the tools, right? The courage to be kind when people aren't being kind to you. The courage to do the right thing, to face your fear. Then we have gratitude. Gratitude, being thankful for what we have and focusing on what we have, not what we don't have. Then we move into forgiveness. Forgiveness, letting it go, cutting the cord that attaches you to pain. And then we have compassion and action. When we step outside of our own busyness, even our own pain to help other people. That's the formula for choosing love. Oh, and don't let me forget the golden ruler, the golden rule. When you treat others the way you want to be treated. Thank you for choosing love. The formula for choosing love came from a message my six-year-old son, Jesse Lewis, left on our kitchen chalkboard shortly before he died in the tragedy at Sandy Hook Elementary. Jesse wrote three words, nurturing, healing, love. I saw those words a few days after he died and knew that this was meant as a message of comfort for his family and friends, but also a message of inspiration for the world. This is where we needed to move towards in order to survive and thrive. I knew the young man that had perpetrated the violence was not able to give or receive love, and if he could, the tragedy would never have occurred. I have dedicated my life to spreading Jesse's message of nurturing, healing love to individuals all over the world through the Choose Love movement. The Choose Love movement started by asking individuals to consciously choose a loving thought over an angry thought. By choosing loving thoughts, you make yourself feel good, you positively impact those around you, and through the ripple effect, you make the world a better place. Nurturing, healing, love. Those three words are in the definition of compassion across all cultures. When you break down the meaning, nurturing means loving kindness and gratitude. Healing literally means forgiveness, and love is compassion in action. When you practice those three character values in that order, you are choosing love. It becomes a rope that you let down to yourself in the well of any situation, and you can use it to pull yourself out. The first thing you do is think of something you're grateful for, and there's always something to be grateful for. You can start with your breath, nature, and beautiful flowers. This gives you the strength to forgive. Forgiveness is not taught, and very few people understand what forgiveness really means. Forgiveness is a conscious choice, a decision to let go of anger and resentment. It does not mean that you forget. It does not mean that you condone what the other person did. And it does not mean that you can't hold that person accountable for their actions. It simply means that you take personal responsibility for your thoughts and feelings and release thoughts of anger and resentment. Compassion has two components. One is identifying what someone else is feeling. The second component is actively doing something to help or ease that pain. This is compassion in action. The first empathetic component can be painful and lights up the same centers in the brain as physical pain. The second component helps both the giver and the receiver. It's when the healer becomes the healed and cultivates connection and resilience. Courage is an overarching concept because it takes courage to choose love. It takes courage to be grateful, especially when things aren't going your way. It takes courage to forgive, especially when the person who hurt you isn't sorry. And it takes courage to step outside of your own universe of pain and help someone else. Thus, the formula for choosing love is courage, 
plus gratitude, plus forgiveness, plus compassion in action equals choosing love. We all want to love and be loved. This is the common thread that connects us all. We can choose love for ourselves and others. Choosing love just may be the most important choice that you will make. Lift you up if you let it in. Let the healing begin. So won't you turn it up and do Hi, I'm Paula Nowak. Here is a helpful technique when you are experiencing stress. It's called the emotional stress release. And what we're going to do is use these points just above our eyebrows in line with our pupil. And it's about one finger width above. These are neurovascular points and they help bring calm and relaxation to the body and nervous system. What we do is place our fingertips lightly on that point putting several fingers down, placing your thumbs on your temples, relaxing your arms, your shoulders. And you can have your eyes open or closed as you gently hold these points. We hold these points for about three or four minutes, holding them lightly as we focus on the breath. And as you breathe in and breathe out, allowing the body to relax. On the inhale, we expand our belly. And on the exhale, we release and let go. Paying attention to any sensations in your body. Noticing areas of tension. Noticing areas of relaxation. Continuing to expand your belly on the inhale and release and let go on the exhale as you hold your fingers lightly on your forehead. You can also place one hand lightly on your forehead. And you can do this for a friend or a family member as well. Holding lightly brings a calming effect to the body and to the nervous system. And you can do this seated or standing or laying down. Sliding your hand down to your heart center. Right in the middle of your sternum is a point known as the Sea of Tranquility. And this is a calming point. And I'm just gently pressing the heel of my hand into this point. And as we hold that point, that brings calm and relaxation to our body. Continuing to focus on the breath.
when we focus on long and slow exhales that activates the calming part of our nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system. And I invite you now to take the other hand and place it at the back of your head, just where your head meets your neck, holding that hand lightly. And this is a calming exercise for our body and nervous system. You can soften your gaze or close your eyes if that's comfortable. Continuing to focus on the breath. There's an expansion and a contraction. A rise with the inhale and a release with the exhale. You can hold this point for several breaths, holding lightly. And we're gonna take our hand that's on our chest and place it just above the other hand, holding that lightly, placing our other hand in the middle of our sternum, the heel in the middle of our sternum, the heel of our hand. And we're holding these beautiful calming points on our head. They're known as neurovascular points. They bring calm and relaxation to the body, to the nervous system. An expansion and a contraction of the breath. Perhaps noticing any sensations in your body right now. Noticing what is present. And then taking your hand and meeting it at the top of your head, where your other hand is, placing your other hand on the center of your chest, holding that hand lightly, heel of your hand on the center of your sternum in the sea of tranquility. Continuing to focus on the breath. And if you're feeling anxious or stressed, focus on a long and slow exhale. And hold this for several breaths, holding lightly as you breathe in and breathe out. Taking your hand on your sternum, placing it in front of the other hand, taking this hand and placing it on the middle of your chest, the middle of your sternum, on the sea of tranquility. Pressing the heel of your hand lightly into your sternum as you breathe in and you breathe out. Take your hand on your heart center, placing it lightly across your forehead, your other hand on your heart center, Holding lightly, heel of your hand, gently pressing into your sternum. Continuing to breathe in and out with long and slow exhales. Noticing any sensations in your body. 
noticing areas of tension and breathing into those areas of tension. And taking your hands and placing them both above your ears, holding lightly, continuing to hold these calming points on your head as you breathe in and you breathe out. Holding lightly for several breaths. Taking your hands and sliding them down to your heart center. We'll have one hand on top, one hand in the center. There's some calming points just below your collarbone, as well as in the middle of your chest. And we'll hold those for a few moments. As we breathe in and breathe out. An expansion and a contraction of the breath. And know that at any time you can come and hold those points lightly on your head and also on your sternum. As you hold those points and focus on the breath, allow your body to, to notice tension, notice relaxation. And allow calm relaxation to flow through. And you can utilize these practices anytime during the day or the evening or at night when you like to bring calm relaxation to your nervous system and to your body. This is a little foot hug that you can do for yourself in bed first thing in the morning or at the end of the day, or you can even extend your feet out uh, when you're sitting on your chair and just do it then and just, just remind yourself to give a little bit of compassion back to you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to sit down on the bench and bring my feet out in front, which you're gonna see a little bit of black. I'll just turn a little bit. So my feet are together. And just taking the feet back, take them around, point them down in front, and that makes a heart. So I'm just going to do that again. So up to the top, around, and point. And you may decide you want to go the other way, which would be around, and bring it into the center. And you take it down, around, and bring it into the center. All right, that's a little bit of giving yourself just a little bit of hug, a little bit of compassion, and remind yourself to love you too. This is a tree centering exercise. Begin by imagining your tree. Your tree and imagine your branches flowing in the wind and your feet strongly planted on Mother Earth and your bark. Imagine your bark in your tree trunk. And as you are there as a tree, imagine the sun warming you, warming your face and your neck your shoulders and your arms. The sun warms your front and your back. Sun warms you down through your knees and your toes and up through the back of your legs. You're a tree. And as the sun warms you, just imagine you're swaying in the wind. And as you sway in the wind, you breathe, breathe in and out, 
and in and out and in and out. And then imagine Mother Earth filling you up from the bottom. Up, 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 up. And then the sun warming you up again. Your face, your shoulders, your front, your back, your legs, your feet, and back up the front. The sun's warming you as you breathe. In and out. And in and out. You're a tree. And the wind may move you a bit, but you're sturdy and strong. Your feet are centered in Mother Earth and think about what kind of roots you have. What kind of roots you have pulling you into Mother Earth. And you're this tree. And anytime you're stressed, anytime you're worried, just imagine you're this tree. Rooted strongly in Mother Earth. I'm going to share with you now a little bit with the feet and some foot sensors, so through the feet, but I'm also going to share with you some of the sign language. So we have choose love, we have compassion, we have left hand, forgiveness, and we have courage, butterfly fist, up. So fingers are like this, and up, and gratitude. Choosing love. The choose love formula. I'm going to step onto the color red. And this one here is for centering. And what we're going to do is rise up on the toe and then come back down flat. And if you want to add the hands, you can put them like this. And you've got rise up and sink. And up and sink. Up and sink. You can do as many repetitions as you like. I usually do them until I feel really solid in the movement. And right there, um, as I got to number five, that's when it started to feel a little bit more uh, coordinated and together. So now I'm on yellow. And yellow is for. <laughs> Sorry, my cards are tiny, tiny for stability. Sorry, for stability. And what we're doing here is we're going around a clock. And so we go playing the piano with our toes, comes around to the side of the foot, back into the heel, over to the left side, and back up to the top. So we're going around the clock. You just want to feel all of the parts of the foot. We talk about nine parts of the foot. You're feeling the edges, the heel, toes, all of the foot. Again, as many as you'd like to do, if you feel like everything is just really coordinating nicely, then you'll know you have that next piece. All right, so we're gonna move over into silver, red, or gray. And this one is for gravity. On this one, we can do one foot at a time, which would be lift your toe, lift your heel. So you kind of roll back and forth. So you can have rolling on one foot and you go the other way. And you can put it together if you like, which is one toe, heel. And you're going to trade, 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 trade. And just see if you can feel the actions. 
coming through. You'll notice I'm going down, down, down. Great. So now we're going to step over to blue. Blue is where we're going to find balance. And balance on this one, you're going to go sideways, roll over, come back. So I'm going over one way and back. So if you can see me here, one way, back. One way, back. You're going to try to play the piano with your toes. As you go through each one. All right. And for the metal element back there, that was forgiveness. And now we're standing on water, which is courage. All right. We're going to come around to the green. This is, uh, uh, this one is for grounding. Okay. And it would be roll in and then roll out. I'm going to turn around so you can see me better. So I'm going to go in and roll out. Play the piano with the toes in and roll out. Roll in, roll out. This one is gratitude. Great. Okay, so what we've done is we've gone around this wheel of color, which helps with nurturing the system, just bringing everything down in common. I also used the Choose Love formula and gave you the different actions, as well as what you can do with the feet. The feet really help us to be grounded, to feel like we're, we're centered in one spot, we're connected to the ground, and that can really help us to feel calm and secure. And it also can be a great place to find power, to be able to pull that power out and bring it through whatever action you're going to do. So I'm just going to walk you through using the formula and the, and the feet actions together, just so you have this. So I'm going to Choose love and rise up and down, up and down. Then if I come over to our yellow, our yellow is compassion and action. So the hands are going to go here. And that one went round in a circle, all the way around. When I come over to white, silver, or gray, we have the rolling action going back and forth. And this is forgiveness. The left hand and the right hand sweeps down. Then we're going to come over to blue. Water element, this is courage. So you have air claw up to butterfly fist. So it's not a tight fist, it's gentle. That's courage. And our courage is going to go from side to side, rolling through the feet, rolling through the toes. We come over to wood. I'll face you this way. Our wood is where we're going in and out. And this is where we bring in gratitude. And when we finish that little action, that brings us back to the beginning, which is where we can choose love. We can choose love for ourselves. We can choose love for others. And together, when we take the time to just be centered and grounded, really feel our feet, that's when you have the, the chance to assist and help others. I offer you some calmness, some peace, some hope, and above all else, love. Thank you for choosing love. For the second exercise, we're going to imagine we're a joy bubble. And you can be whatever color you want. 
to think about what is your favorite color? Is your favorite color red? Orange? Pink? Blue? Green? Lilac? Purple? So just think for a moment of your favorite color. And then imagine this ball of energy, this ball of energy. This ball of energy is whatever color you want it to be. And this ball of energy is gonna grow and grow and grow and grow into a joy bubble. And this joy bubble is whatever color you want it to be. And this joy bubble pushes away anything that's stressing you and upsetting you. And inside the bubble, inside the bubble, it holds you. It fills you up with joy. It fills you up with joy. It fills you up with love. This joy bubble holds you and it's there for you, a ball of light, a ball of light to hold you and keep you safe, keeps away what harms you or hurts you, holds you and keeps you safe and held. And this joy bubble is any color you want it to be. So let's just breathe in in this joy bubble. And we're going to fill this joy bubble up, 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 up with joy. And this bubble is full with joy and holds us, holds us in that joy. And this bubble is here for us anytime you want us to hold us. This bubble is here for us anytime we need it, any color we like. And sometimes you can change the color, maybe today blue, tomorrow purple filled up with joy to hold you. Hi, I'm Natasha and I would like to share the Choose Love formula with you. We will experience the formula through sound and intention. The sound will be provided by the happy drum and the intention will be set by us through the words. Visualize and Experience with all your senses the single words and notions of the formula. There's no right or wrong. Just do what comes to mind and just receive, discover, explore, and in the end, take home with you whatever you can use out of that. Thank you. Choose love. Envision courage.
Envision gratitude. forgiveness. Next is compassion in action.
this all together. 